Hi everyone, welcome to this video. I am Yangsor and I will show you the best settings for your NVIDIA control panel. The easiest and the quickest as well, because I'm not going to go all into detail with all this crap. Just to make it easy and to make your graphics card world work as good as possible. So you want to go to the first one, adjust image settings. And then you can see the second option, use the advanced 3D image settings. And that's the one we're going to adjust now. So I will click take me there. And then you can see the global settings is selected. That's good. I will go down a bit. Power management mode. That's the one that needs to go to max performance. Go down a bit. You can see it's going to flicker every now and then, but that doesn't matter. Just click on it and then just wait and it will come back to where it was. Preferred refresh rate. I've got that on highest available. You can also do application controlled, but I would not recommend you to do that. And then you can see texture filtering quality that needs to be on high performance. And that's it. You can click apply and then you're good to go. All right. For those people who are playing in a on a G-Sync monitor and you want to use settings for your visual experience so not to be competitive but you just want it to look nice like butter smooth then you can use these settings to make the games look as smooth as possible. So in my case Rocket League I know this game runs really high in frame rate it will never dip at any moment I know a certain settings will always be stable and that's for me 116 FPS it's a few frames lower than the max frame rate so I know G-Sync will always be enabled. So I go to my max frame rate, go on, and I use 116. So I'm going to be lower than 120, which is within the G-Sync range. I've got from 40 to 120, I think, something like that. So I'll always be in that G-Sync window. It'll always be good. It can dip lower, but Rocket League does not dip lower at all. <laughs> so that's that's good. So it'll always be stable. In the past, if you would have V-Sync on and you would dip low in your frame rate it would suddenly cap to half of your monitor's refresh rate it will go from 120 to 60 and it's going to be 60 vsync enabled it's going to be a horrible experience for you if you have that so make sure the game does not have any dips just to be clear otherwise do not use vsync rocket league in this case does not have any dips it's really butter smooth so i can use vsync so now the game's not only perfectly in line with every frame I also don't have any tearing. Everything's going to be butter smooth. The gaming experience with this visually is amazing. Competitively, do not do that. But yeah, that's not what I'm going for right here. So these are my settings. I don't know why it clicked apply because I play this game quite competitively. So I'm going to quickly undo those. But that was just an example as Rocket League plays really well on my PC. If you have any other 2D games that run really good, then I would recommend you do that. If you think that a certain game, let's say Battlefield 1, plays kind of up and down in frames, but you can see it never goes lower than 90, then you can say, okay, I'm going to cap this to 90 or even 100, because maybe like you only get 90 on extreme situations when there's like... 30 people in the house and explosions everywhere now you could say you just put it on 100 and you will not notice the difference so you can put it on 100 and then it will always be around 100 frames per second and then you can say as it's not dipping that much or at least not that crazy much you can say okay i'm gonna use vsync for this one as well and then the gaming experience will be amazing there's not going to be any latency because it's not trying to get frames that are way higher than your monitor and kind of put that in in line with all the rest it's always going to be perfectly smooth whatsoever so those are my recommended settings for the global settings they definitely apply for everyone and the program settings or game specific settings for those who want to have just a little bit more of a visual experience in certain games that are in my opinion should be non-competitively played because of the latency that it will maybe give you that's kind of in your disadvantage but if you play a platform game this definitely will make your gaming experience much better so thanks again for watching guys and i hope to see you guys in the next video